Pesticide accidents and emergencies can damage property, the environment, and wildlife. They can endanger the health of the applicator and first responders and cause financial loss and liability claims. The GHS includes criteria for classifying health, physical, and environmental hazards. It specifies what information should be included on labels in safety data sheets, or SDS. A SDS explains the hazards, precautions, and response actions for a product in medical or first aid treatment. Occupational Safety and Health Administration, or OSHA, requires that employers provide access to SDSs and keep copies in multiple locations. An SDS includes more technical information for selecting greener products. Sections 12, 13, 14, and 15 are optional. However, these are used to include information regarding federal or state transportation, disposal, and right-to-know requirements. An Emergency Response Plan, or ERP, can help prevent an emergency from becoming a catastrophe. Make sure there is a coordinator with the authority to make emergency decisions, make all necessary calls, and take care of required paperwork. Post emergency phone numbers and contacts in the office, shop, and truck. The plan should outline critical information emergency personnel will need. Include the name of the reporting person, precise location and description of the incident, name, quantity, and classification of pesticides, extent of injuries, and whether the pesticides have entered the surface water. Have a detailed facility map that shows the layout of chemical storage buildings, bulk storage tanks, access roads, shut off for electricity, water, gas, fire alarms, extinguishers, and other firefighting and emergency equipment, water flow information, fencing or gates, and flammable substances. Show the facility in relation to the surrounding areas. The plan should inventory chemicals stored at the facility and reflect seasonal storage of pesticides, fertilizers, and fuels. The rating system used to assist emergency personnel is the NFPA Hazard Identification System. It is a diamond-shaped warning symbol. The health hazard is the blue section. The flammability hazard is a red section. The special hazard is the white section. The instability is a yellow section. Store combustibles away from heating sources. Install a fire detecting system and train employees on using fire extinguishers. Make sure employees evacuate to a designated rendezvous point and account for all employees once there. Immediately notify the fire department. Provide emergency responders with the SDSs, labels, emergency plan, and site map. Build berms to contain water runoff and leaking pesticides. If burning, determine to allow the fire to burn out or to put it out. Call an insurance agent, facilities management, and make all regulatory phone calls required by state and federal agencies. A spill is the accidental release of any pesticide in small or large quantities. Practice the three C's for any pesticide spill. Control, contain, and clean it up. Act immediately to control. Put on appropriate PPE before responding. Place leaking containers into larger ones. Try to plug the leak and transfer the contents into a new container. When stopping a leak from a pressurized system, turn off the pump. Never leave the spill site unattended. Keep it from spreading and entering into surface water. Using a shovel, quickly berm off an area to keep the spill out of drains and waterways, or use an absorbent spill tube depending on the spill. If the spill contaminates a water system, contact the state, tribe, or territory regulatory agencies. Call the number on the SDS to find out steps to take to lessen the dangers and contamination. Call 911. Be ready to respond to the authorities arriving on scene. You must have product labels, SDSs, and be ready to follow your emergency plan. Clean up the spill site. Sweep up any absorbent materials and contaminated items and place them in a drum. If the spill occurred on concrete or asphalt, neutralize the surface. Follow the instructions on the SDS. 
If the spill occurs on soil, the state, tribe, or territory agency will tell you what to do. Keep records and photograph your activities, conversations with regulatory authorities, emergency responders, news media, and the public. Prevent accidental spills by properly maintaining your application equipment and transportation vehicles. Leaks and drips can occur from cracked hoses or loose hose clamps. Refrain from cell phone use while driving. Use defensive driving techniques to prevent accidents. Keep a spill cleanup kit in every transport vehicle where pesticides are mixed, loaded, and stored. Cleanup kits should include telephone numbers for emergency assistance, PPE, absorbent materials, pillows, clay and cat litter, a shovel, broom and dustpan, and heavy-duty detergent. Store your spill kit in a plastic container and keep it clean and updated.